Hi guys, welcome back to my video podcast. Today we will have a special guest, Chen, to share something with us. We will be talk about some fragrance information, and I will talk about my fragrances. Let's get started. Here are the fragrances that I usually use, which are Chloe Signature EDP, Jojo Armani C Passione EDP, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet EDP, Moschino Toy 2 EDP, and CK1 EDP by Calvin Klein. I usually wear this Chloe Signature EDP for a date. This is my all-time favorite fragrance. Top notes of the fragrance are Pink Peony, Frisia, and Lychee Reflect Subtle Freshness, Eddie Heart, Middle Notes of Magnolia Flower, Lily of the Valley, and Rose Rice to Sublimated Femininity. A base of velvety elegance works up as fusion through cedar wood, amber, and honey. For Jojo Armani C Passionate EDP, I usually wear this to a party. The top notes of this fragrance are pear, blackcurrant, pink pepper, and grapefruit. Middle notes are pineapple, rose, jasmine, and heliotrope. Base notes are vanilla, cedar, amberwood, and patchouli. For Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet EDT, I will wear this to campus or public event. The scent for this perfume is not that strong and is suitable to wear in public. The top note is Sicilian Mandarin. Middle notes are Pink Peony, Damas Rose, Apricot, and Peach. Base note is White Mask. This 30ml bottle is not enough for me to use. This is Machino Toy 2 EDP. I will also wear this to public event or daily use. The design of the fragrance bottle is really cute. It is a glass bottle encapsulated in a teddy bear which you had to lift the bear's head off the excess. The top notes of this fragrance are apple, mandarin orange, and magnolia. Middle notes are white currant, peony, and jasmine. Base notes are musk, amberwood, and sandalwood. The last one is CK1 EDT by Calvin Klein. This is a citrus aromatic fragrance and suitable for women and men. I will wear this perfume when I'm dressing up myself in a cool style or boyfriend style. Top notes are lemon, green notes, bergamot, pineapple, mandarin orange, cardamom, and papaya. Middle notes are lily of the valley, jasmine, violet, nutmeg, rose, orris root, and freesia. Base notes are green accord, moss, cedar, sandalwood, oak moss, green tea, and amber. Now we are going to talk about the types of fragrance. All perfumes are not alike. Perfume can come in different concentrations and this concentration actually from different categories of perfumes. These concentrations also affect the price point of the perfume. There are five main categories of perfume which are perfume or perfume, or the perfume or or the perfume which is EDP, or the toilet which is EDT, or the cologne, and the less well known or fresh. For perfume, this has the highest concentration of essential oils or perfume extract, with around 20-30% to 30% essential oils in a fragrant blend. It is the most expensive of all the categories due to the higher concentrations of oils. It is usually heavier and oilier. It is said to last longer and can last up to 24 hours. It is recommended for people with sensitive skin as there is less alcohol in the blend. For EDP, this is the perfume category with the next highest concentration of oils with around 15-20% to essential oils or perfume extract in the fragrance blend. It is less expensive than perfume. It has slightly more alcohol and water in the ingredients. However, it is still has a high level of perfume oils. It can last 6-8 to eight hours. Even though it has a slightly higher alcohol content, it is still recommended for people with sensitive skin. For EDT, this perfume category is for fragrances with essential oil or perfume extract concentration of between 5 to 15 percent. It is a light formula and usually in spray bottles. Surprisingly, it is the most popular type of fragrance and you often buy perfume thinking it is all the perfume and it is actually all the toilet. It is much more affordable than EDP and can last 2 to 4 hours. Due to the low combination of essential oils and high percentage of alcohol, it tends to dissipate quickly. For Eau de Cologne, the category known as Eau de Cologne is one of the lightest fragrance concentrations with essential oils or perfume extract of between 2-4%. to It is often thought of as a masculine formula, 
However, they are feminine or the cologne as well. They often come in large bottles as you tend to need more of it and will require regular applications. It can last up to 2 hours and is fairly inexpensive. For all fresh, this category is for perfumes that are the most diluted with essential oil and perfume extract concentrations of around 1-3%. to The main ingredient is water as all fresh means fresh water in France. It can last up to an hour and is often used to freshen up. Here I will cover some tips and best practice to store your perfume from spoiling. If you store your perfume in the bathroom or on a display shelf, you are not storing it correctly either. You should store your perfume in a cool, dark place. Fragrance can be break down in fluctuating temperatures or humidity. Instead of storing your scents in the bathroom, keep it in a cool drawer away from direct sunlight. Don't shake your perfume bottle. Shaking the perfume can allow air to infuse the fragrance and shorten its lifespan. You should buy the right strength of perfume. Some perfumes will naturally last longer than others, both on the skin and in the bottle. Perfume and cologne are sold in different concentrations, meaning there are different ratios of fragrance oil to alcohol. Perfume with more prominent base notes will have a longer shelf life than those with prominent top notes. Base notes usually include woody or balsamic flavors, as well as those with a spicier scent. If your perfume contains oriental scents such as patchouli and amber, it is likely to have a longer shelf life. Perfumes with lighter prominent base notes are more volatile. The more volatile your scent, the quicker it will likely expire. This includes citrus, floral, and green scents. Don't wear the perfume if it has changed its color, particularly if it is become darker, that is a sign that the scent has altered over time. Okay, so next, I am excited to have Chen here. She is also a fragrance lover. She is going to share about how to let fragrance be long-lasting. Hi Chen, and welcome to my video podcast. Hi everyone, I'm Chen. I'm going to share some hacks to let your fragrance be more long-lasting. Who wouldn't love to smell great all day? Wearing your favorite fragrance can certainly help. But you may have noticed that many perfumes wear off by lunchtime. This is likely because you are not applying your perfume the right way. Most people don't realize there are best practices for applying fragrance, many of which make perfume last longer. To make your perfume last longer, you will want to ensure the perfume is able to connect with your skin and stay put all day. To do this, you will want to follow as many the perfume rules as you are able to. The first tip is, apply right after your shower. Starting with proper application helps ensure your fragrance lasts all day. For best results, apply your perfume right after you shower and dry off. The next tip is, apply to your pulse points. Fragrance react to heat and applying to your pulse points can help release scent throughout the day. Try spritzing on your neck, insides of your elbows, wrists, or the back of your knees. Don't rub the fragrance in. Rubbing your wrists together breaks down the chemicals and causes top notes to break down faster than they would have otherwise. If you can't spray your fragrance, gently dab it on your skin. Put a small amount of Vaseline to your pulse point before applying. If you need some extra life out of your fragrance, rub a small amount of Vaseline onto your pulse points before application. The balm will act as an additional moisturizing lock for the scent, helping it last even longer. Moreover, you can also use matching scented lotion and other products. Another way to maximize your fragrance is to buy the lotions, body washes, and other products sold alongside it. Calvin Klein, Versace, and other popular brands offer matching products to complement their fragrances. Besides that, you can also spray fragrances onto your hairbrush and brush through your hair. If you want some extra scent in your hair, you can spray it on your brush and then run it through dry hair. Don't spritz directly on your hair as the alcohol in many perfumes can cause damage. Wow, there are quite a lot of do's and don'ts for us to make the fragrance be long-lasting. You may have noticed how a certain perfume or smell reminds you of someone. That is because our scent of smell is the one most closely linked to memory. That brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks to Chen for sharing how to let fragrance be long-lasting. We hope this episode was beneficial to all of you. As always, Thank you everyone for watching my video podcast. If you enjoy my show, don't forget to come back next week for a discussion of the new launch fragrance for Valentine's Day. Thank you. Bye.